Hey guys, Apple has just released iOS 7.0.3 last night, and in this video I'm going to show you what's new, what's changed or been fixed, and whether or not you should update if you are anticipating a new iOS 7 jailbreak. So first off, one of the biggest changes I've noticed is that Apple actually fixed the lock screen bug, which allowed you to bypass and get into information photos on iOS 7.0.2. Also, the accelerometer issue has been fixed. So if your iPhone is just at standstill, it's not going to go all over the place and, you know, pretend that it is using accelerometer when it's actually not. Another major change is the ability to actually reduce motion when you enable the reduce motion feature in settings. So you'll no longer get the parallax feature. And when this feature is enabled, the transitions are smoother. So that's definitely something I've noticed. Also on the lock screen, the slide to unlock text doesn't appear until a few seconds after. And this is only when you have touch ID enabled on your iPhone 5S. Otherwise, you know, you will get it on every other device. So that's a 5S specific feature. iMessage has also been fixed in the latest update. I've noticed that there were a lot of bugs in a 7.0.2 with iMessage, something I've never experienced in iOS 6. And I'm happy to see that Apple has fixed that. So if you guys have experienced any kind of bugs where iMessage wouldn't send, definitely update to fix all of that. So yeah, it's all good. But where does this stand in the terms of an iOS 7 jailbreak? Well, you guys can go ahead and update. MuscleNerd did release a tweet that told us it was okay to update. Not much has changed in terms of exploits in the latest firmware so you guys are free to update and still enjoy an ios 7 jailbreak now i'm not entirely sure if this update affects battery life at all but it would be nice if apple did fix that as well so if you guys do notice anything battery life wise let me know in the comments down below anyways i do hope you enjoyed this video just a little update to let you know the new update that apple has released and that it is safe to update stay tuned for my ipad videos have a great day guys peace